Hello and welcome to episode four. Um, my name is Sharon Bell. Hi, I'm Cassandra Vladislava. And I'm Marie Routon, the creator of Swift and Loose. And uh, this is the first time that uh, Cassandra and Sharon have actually chatted to each other live. So, very exciting <laughs> exclusive. I hope you weren't in the middle of <laughs> yes. all of yeah, Swift and Loose. Yeah, it's true. All of Swift and Loose <laughs> yeah, we actually recorded separately. did all our stuff separately. Um, she did hers first, I think, and then I recorded off them. Oh, you did! Oh, yeah. very cool. Did you, uh, Cass, did you listen to, like, basically every, every line and sort of respond to that, or was it more just sort of here and there? I, l- I listened to each line and responded to it. Nice. You know, tr- tried to, try to keep in, try to think in my head, like, you know, what was going on, you know? Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, it was definitely, definitely a different experience for me recording this. <laughs> yeah. So you had uh, nothing to go off, basically, other than the script. So you were kind of oh, yeah. free to, free yeah, to you... set the pace of the conversation. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, she had the hard job. <laughs> a lot of the time I was just kind of imagining uh, how uh, you, Cassandra, would do the role. Or I don't know, maybe just how I thought Miss Wolf was in my head, which was... Um, pretty close to what you did she's just such a strong character you know so yeah oh but i do have to say something speaking of miss wolf and myself and voice acting um people kept pointing out that i kept slipping into an accent i saw that <laughs> yeah. in some of the comments and i was like i'm pretty sure that's actually her real voice <laughs> yeah that's just uh, i mean sometimes i do like i I live around people who have accents, and I sometimes pick it up a little bit, you know? I don't, um, I don't think but, that's a bad thing. Like, people yeah. who have accents, people have, you know, accents that they slip in and out of in situations. So, yeah, I don't think that's entirely unrealistic. I believe so. I also just want to say that the Stakeout episode was one of my favorite bottle episodes and TV shows are always my favorite where they're just like in a car and they're just like getting to know each other for like 30 minutes of an episode. Yep, for sure. This was yeah. actually probably my favorite one to, to animate as well. Uh, for some reason, all the night shots were way easier than the daytime shots and they ended up looking really great too. This is probably the, the most noir looking episode out of all of them, so... Yeah, I like how it turned out. Definitely. This is the first case I've had since. Uh, my brother. What's going on? Good. Good. I love this drama. Still trying to get the hang of running. Oh, actually, also, I gotta go back to the last episode. Something that almost got brought up but didn't quite. The three Billy Goats gruff reference. <laughs> we sort of, sort of, yeah, like touched vaguely yeah. on on the the Billy yeah. Goat, but yes, also I got such t-shirt. a I, I got such a kick out of that. <laughs> oh, yeah, I did too. <laughs> uh, inter- a little Easter egg in this newspaper clipping to the fire chief's name is uh, Dombo, like Dumbo. Oh, oh, because of water out of the shot? trunk. It's like a fireman's hose. My fa- I just love those little Easter eggs and references and things. Hardly. I'll cut them off at the corner. It's like like the box of magic tricks earlier. And I just wonder what he is like mumbling, singing to himself. It's me. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I feel like. This Sean Barber scene was one of the first ones, Marie, that you gave us as a preview, mm, or or maybe was. or maybe just it was a soundbite just for me or something. But I remember hearing this care this this voice for the first time and just being so so impressed. And this is uh, D- David Honor playing Sean Barber as well. Um, if we had him in this Skype conversation, we would be so international right now. We would be coming to you from four different countries. <laughs> so, but yeah, I do. I really like this scene. This episode is kind of split entirely into two with the stakeout and then with the Sean Barber bit. And I think they both work, but uh, they're very separate. This one's 
kind of almost <laughs> comedic in a way. Yeah. Whereas the stage oh, is yeah. serious. He's the one who used to hang out with all the pretty girls. Yeah, no, I just I just remembered this episode has my favorite line in it. <laughs> you gotta tell us. You got you gotta leave us hanging. Yeah. I'll I'll tell you I'll tell you when it comes up. I'll see you'll you'll probably know. It's 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 it's, it's fun. <laughs> He also looks exactly as he sounds. I like. Did you did you animate characters based around the voices? No, interestingly, I I didn't. I came up with the character designs first. That's so great. Sometimes, if I didn't have enough money for what I really wanted to do, I used to pay her to write me a saucy little love note on the cheap instead. In fact, I think I've got one here. Have you seen Bambi lately, Sean? Nah, love. Not since Charlie went clean a few weeks back. Since I worked with the bloke, I didn't want to get caught up in that whole kerfuffle between him and that wolf woman. Some hot stuff here. <laughs> I love your saucy love note, Sean. Oh, so there it is. That's my I love line. that line too. <laughs> I don't want your saucy love note, Sean. <laughs> it's really well delivered. <laughs> you, you know, I've never paused to actually read that letter. I need to do that. Oh, yeah, me too. <laughs> I don't know why I never thought of that. You get a full shot of the letter without his thumb in the way in uh, episode six, I think it is, on the pin board. You gotta pull, it's really fast. This uh, is the creepiest scene with that shadow in the background. Who did you guys think the shadow was when you first watched it? Oh, well, no, you guys knew who it was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Bambi, right? Oh, it is Bambi, yes. Interestingly, when I did it, I. I kind of, uh, I used Madame Wolf's silhouette overlaid with Bambi's silhouette to make it. It did look very, like, kind of like Madame Wolf, but mm. not exactly. Yeah, yeah, I could tell. Yeah. Yeah. That was, that was like, on you... purpose. Yeah, and especially with the whole, like, her being, like, helicopter parenting, you know, wanting to check everything out. It's like, it's like it could be her, you know. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Join us for episode 